Let's explore how we can put an image in front of the Y scale here. So let's start to add the image before the Y scale labels in Chart.js 4. First of all, make sure you have the boiler template. You can find the boiler template here on Chart.js3.com getting started. Scroll down and just grab this template there. So what I want to do here, first of all, is to scroll down here. And I want to make this a horizontal bar chart. So I'm going to say here index axis and I'm going to say here this will be based on the Y because the question was based on this side here how do we get them in front of the labels. So what I want to do next is because we're going to create a uh, image we need to create a plugin. So I'm going to say here plugins and we can say here this will be the array because you could have multiple plugins and say image items. So I'm going to grab that and this will be our now our custom plugin block. Then I'm going to say constant equals id equals that comma and this of course must be a string value. Then I'm going to say here before data sets draw. I'm going to say here um, uh, what is that here the uh, chart arcs and plugin options. So once we have this, I'm going to say here, constant, I'm going to do here an object destruction. If you don't know object destruction, please watch my video on a setting chart, yes, uh, object destruction. I'm going to put in here CTX because I want to draw in the canvas. I want to have the data and I probably need the scale, specifically the X and Y scale. And I refresh this, nothing happens of course. So next what I want to do is, because I want to put in for every single day, I want to have an image. So I'm just going to here and say, uh, say here image as an array, we can do this. And the reason why is this is just a JavaScript object. So you're allowed to do this and you can just connect that with the chart.js uh, library base here or the chart.js object. So we can uh, connect all of this easily, no problem at all. So what I want to do here is I need to get just a quick image. So I will be using for the quick image just the chartjs.org official logo. I'm going to copy this image address and just put one in here. Of course, I want multiple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in here how many we have. If we have five, uh, seven items here, so I think it would only be fair to put this seven times. That's three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now we have that, save that, refresh. That's all fine. So next what I want to do is I want to make sure we are now starting to show these images here. So I'm going to say here ctx.save. But before I do this, you will say, hold on, we have not enough space here. And that's correct. We have to move this part more to the right. Luckily, we can do this very simply with the uh, layout option. Say layout. Then I'm going to say here padding. And how much padding do I want to give? I want to give, well, let's say for the left side. I want to give a padding of 30 pixels and I put a comma here, save, refresh. There we are. So we have 30 pixels here. So now we have all of this. What I want to do is I'm going to draw the item. So to do this, what I may need to make, first of all, is a constant of the image. Let's, I'll just give this constant logo equals new image object. This image object is just a blank image. And now what I need to do is I need to connect this URL of that image in here. So what I'm going to say here, image.source, which is the source attribute, will be equal to this specific image. Right now I'm going to hard code it, later on I'm going to soft code that. So I'm going to make sure we have this in there. All right. And then what I want to do is I want to say ctx.draw image. And when we're going to draw the image, I need to have the image name. I need to have the X position, the Y position, and I need to have here the width and height of the image. So let's start to get here first the image name, which is just the logo, put it in there. Then I want to have here the X position, which should basically define how many pixels to the right I'm going. Well, I want to be just exactly here at the beginning. So I'll say here index or the value will be zero. Next here for the Y is this should match depending on the index number of the Y scale. So in this case, I'm going to use here a special command x dot get pixel or sorry not x because we're on the y scale so we define the vertical height so say y dot pixel or get pixel for the value and the value in this case will be number zero or index zero because these are the index numbers right now 
for the height and width I'm going to just make it 30 pixels here because we have the 30 pixels to the left as well so we can use that as our value so if I save this right now refresh all right we're getting an error image is not defined so let's see here image of course image is not defined because the name was logo my bad make sure you connect it to the constant of that one refresh here there we are so you can see here what's going on it does work but there's a tiny but it is not in the right position and the reason why is it calculates the exact center and from that center it goes basically down in drawing so what I need to do here if we know that this is 30 we need to know that uh, our height must be minus uh, basically divide by 2 which is 15 in this case there we are so now we are here and this works of course what I need to do is this I would like to have maybe soft coded somehow based on the padding so we have a 30 pixel padding top and bottom so I, assuming you have a square if you don't have a square you have to get your numbers for them correctly that's the most important one so but because it's a square uh, this is easy but I want to grab that from here so how do we do this well we can do here maybe options and then what I want to do is from these options is basically here options to lay out padding and then left so to do that let me just show you here console log then say options if I save that refresh open up the developer tab what we get here uh, we get the proxies all right do we get here the data no maybe we need to get um let's see here oh or probably we can do it even differently if I can do here do the chart let's see if I can get from the chart probably to the options that will be probably more useful you have here the data and then here the options there you are and all right interesting I just cannot get that well let me just test that options layout save that we should get a value am I correct interesting enough it does not get or am I on the wrong value hold on all right so apparently we're just on the fine if this is all correct the only thing is that what put me off track was because of this proxy here we just need to go to target and in the target we have the padding here and then what we need to look for here eventually in the padding the target you can see here the left side so what I want to do here I guess we could do it here as well options comma and then we can just remove this options and then you have here layout padding left if I do this save refresh you see we get the number here which is equal to this if I make this 99 save refresh we get the number 99 so this works all fine as it should so what I want to do here is maybe I will say here this value I'll just give this a new constant just to make it short constant uh, I guess image size something like that I'm just giving it a name that we can use quickly for this here you can say this and that and this one divide by 2 save that refresh all right this works nicely but of course what I want to do more is I want to loop through all of these because we have of course seven items here so how do we do that so we're going to do here I'm going to say I guess after this I'm going to create a function here or oh, not even a function we're going to do a for each loop but then we get the image here so we already have the data here so I'm going to say data dot data sets which is index zero because we only have one data set dot uh, not data but dot image and then we're going to say here for each so I want to look through every image and URL that we have in this object here so I'm going to say here this will be a short end of image or no don't use image here because we have multiple terms of image so I'm going to say here uh, image link comma index so I need both of them the image link is a shorthand for those for every individual link then I'm going to cut out this put it in there then I'm going to say here this image will be the image link here there we are so it will create this logo and then we can loop through them we have here the value but this one here must be looped based on every height here that is the index so if I save this refresh and now we have all of them nicely aligned with an image here and that's basically how to do it